everybody. Welcome back to another week of the Fogo Life. I'm your host, as always, Captain Ron. Today, we're gonna do some fun things. We're gonna have fun today cooking. We're gonna take a tomahawk, and we're gonna see if we can hang it in the big green egg and hang it the way they do in barrel smokers. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use power tools. We're gonna use fire. We got steaks. Oh, man, I'm in man heaven. Hey, Ron, other than fun, why are you gonna hang a tomahawk in the big green egg? Well, if you ever saw this video before of hanging our tomahawks in the barrel smoker, you'd know that it had an unbelievably even cook. The air circulates all around it and it gives it a nice even cook all around. If you're cooking a steak flat like this, it might be getting more heat here, more heat here. We don't know, but if you're hanging like that, the air is circulating around it and coming out the top for a nice even cook and it is awesome. And you know what? I've never seen anybody do this in a big green egg before. And if you give me a thumbs up and if you subscribe to the channel and if you leave me a comment, I don't even think about showing you how to do it. But first, let's talk about the meat. Okay, so what we have here is a tomahawk ribeye. And if you don't know what that is, it's simply a big ribeye that still has the bone, the rib bone in it, and has not been taken off the bone. It's got a beautiful ribeye here. It's got what's called a spinalis on the outside, the tasty little chef's bite. And it's a beautiful piece of meat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna season it up and we're gonna treat it like royalty by coating it first in Wagyu tallow. Well, if I have you a little bit confused by now, let me give you a quick explanation of what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this beautiful tomahawk. We're going to drill a hole right through the bone. We're gonna stick it up through the hole in the dome in the top of the egg and put the skewer through it. And it's gonna hang in the egg just like this. It's gonna cook with beautiful convection all around it. But before we do that, very important. Let me show you how to tie it so that it doesn't fall apart while we're cooking it. The first thing we wanna do when we're tying it is to make sure that we have enough kitchen twine, okay? I like to use a thick kitchen twine for this. We're gonna be cooking over fire. So you wanna make, make sure you have enough to go around it at least two times, okay? So one and two. So we're gonna start it here. And we're gonna bring it around underneath the bone, bring it up over, okay? I'm gonna bring it back around, around the steak. And this time we're gonna to go top first, under, then bring it back around and then tie. Okay, I wanna tie it on the side since this is gonna be hanging, I don't want it to burn any extra string. And here's the cool part about tying this. We're gonna go one, two, three times through and then pull it tight. Pull it real tight. And as a matter of fact, you can just let it go like that. I like to give it an extra little one like that. We have our tied tomahawk. And now the fun begins, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna have to drill a hole in our tomahawk bone, but how do we know where to drill it? It's very simple. We want the bottom of the steak right to be right about great height, okay? So what we do is we kind of take our steak and hold it here, right about where great height would be. Close the dome, let the bone come up through, making sure we're holding it right about the same height, and we're gonna mark it, okay? I'm just gonna put a little mark on here using my scissor point, okay? So that we know that when we open her back up, we're gonna have it hanging just like that. And just like that, we're ready to season this baby up. We're gonna season this thing up today in our normal steak seasoning. We're gonna use salt and pepper, that's it. But we're gonna spice it up using ghost pepper salt. Now that coat of Wagyu tallow is gonna help to bind this salt and pepper to the steak. What's the first thing we do after we season our steak? That's right, we set it on the side to let all of those seasonings soak into that meat while we light our grill. So let's put this away and grab our charcoal. I get asked all the time, how do you open that bag with just one pull? Well, let me show you how to do it. Okay, you take the end right here. You pull out the first couple loops. Just pull it out like that. Pull out the first couple loops, okay? Oh, magic, right? Now we're using a totally different grilling method this time. So we're gonna use our Art to Flame plancha, but we'll get back to that in a minute. What I'm gonna do now is fill it up with grilling charcoal, our black bag charcoal. Now, because we're gonna be hanging it and it's gonna be here, I don't want flames shooting up right underneath it. So I'm gonna bank all my coals to the side and kind of make a hole in the middle. I'm just gonna kind of push it all to the outsides. You can have a little bit here, okay, in the middle. But I think that looks about good, just like that. 
plancha. As I said, today I'm gonna use my Art of Flame steel plancha in here. You don't need this to do it, but I'm gonna do it because it's really gonna focus the heat coming up through the middle. And plus, we're gonna sear it off right on it at the end for an absolute super steak sear on that beautiful tomahawk. The egg is steady at 250 degrees, right where we want it. It's actually at about 240, so shh, don't tell anybody. But we're gonna control our temp, monitor our temperatures today with our meter. We're gonna stick it in the side, okay? Right about halfway through the meat. So we want it about there. We're gonna measure it off to here and just stick it right in. First thing we have to do, we're gonna take the actual top right off of here. So we're gonna take this off, the smokeware top, take it right off, set it aside. Someplace heat proof preferably, okay? And now comes the fun part, hanging the tomahawk. Skewer, check. Tomahawk, check. Big green egg open, check. All right, so we already got measured out. So now what we do is we just stick it up through the dome and through the bone. Look at that, how cool is that? Here it comes. This is gonna be a rocking good time. Let's talk about vent settings for a second here, okay? because we're about 15, 20 minutes into this cook already, and I want to show you something. I've got the vent literally open, maybe a 16th of an inch. It almost looks like it's shut all the way. That's it. The reason being, we took the top off, so we have plenty of air draft coming out already, okay? So if we let more air in by opening that vent, it's just gonna heat this thing up. I don't want that. I want it about 250 for the whole cook. Eventually. Our meter is at 120 degrees, so we're gonna pull our steak off of there now. So let's open her up and see what she looks like. Ooh, -wee. hey, it looks like a tomahawk, doesn't it? All right, here's the tricky part. Grab it, skewer out. Look how easy that was. Beautiful, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? And you notice I'm resting on a rack. If you put it right on the board, it's actually gonna steam itself. So this allows the air to get all around it. Now, while that's resting for 10, 15 minutes, we're gonna open up our vents, get this thing ripping hot and sear it off like a champion. Now I want my fire to be as hot as I can in this one spot, so I'm gonna put as much of the hot coals right here I'm using my little handy dandy little coal mover, building a really, really hot spot right underneath where I want to sear it. If you're wondering what I was talking about, about the coal movers, it's these. They look like tongs, but they're just made for moving charcoal around, okay? They're really cool, a little rubble handle set that doesn't heat up. You can just move your coals around anytime you have to, nice and easy. Guys, it is time to sear. This looks beautiful, and I mean that sincerely. Anyway, so, but I noticed one thing, the strings, okay, good thing we tied this because it did sort of come apart, but to sear it, I'm gonna take these strings off because I want it to be nice and even. So, i take these strings right off of here, okay? And kind of flatten it out, yeah, just like that. Okay, take the strings off, and now we're ready to sear. See how it fell apart here? Listen to that sizzle. All right, time to flip. It's been about 45 seconds, almost a minute. Look at that sear. And it's ready. Yeah. Are you ready, kids? It's that time, it's slicing time. So we are gonna slice this thing off the bone first, because that's the rule of tomahawks. Okay, you cut it off the bone first. Oh, nice and pink and red, that's what we're liking to see. Next, the spinalis is already most of the way off. And now the magic test. It's tender, I can tell you that. Oh, look at that beauty, baby. I just got asked, but Ron, don't you have to rest it first? No, no, no. It rested while we were heating up the grill. Remember before the sear? That was the rest. And now the spinalis. Now that's a pretty piece of steak right there. Now, if you don't like ribeyes, I've got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> Get it? A bone to pick with you? Oh man, is that good? Mmm, was that good? Absolutely so cool. What a fun cook. Hanging tomahawks. Everybody should have a tomahawk hanging around. <laughs> Get it? Hanging around. The dad jokes are flying like, like the tomahawk did today. So I know this. This, okay. So the outside rim, the spinalis, is the way we cook it, it's gonna get a little bit more done than the center. The center is beautiful pink. This is a little bit more done, but I think it's still gonna be okay. So I'm just gonna take a little taste of this one, even though I know what it tastes like already. 
Oh man, this was a high-end choice steak. It wasn't even prime, and it tastes like a prime steak. It is phenomenal. The way we cooked it, it allows all those juices inside that steak to be cooking at the same time. The rest allows it all to redistribute. Fantastic steak. You wanna have some fun, go out and get yourself a skewer right here. I'll give you a hint, there's a link down below for them. And get yourself a tomahawk. Cook it like this. It is so good and it was, it's, it was a lot of fun. I had fun making this video. I hope that you had fun watching it. So remember, listen, give us a subscribe, give us a like, go give us a comment. Tell me what you wanna see us cook, please. We love to get your ideas. We've done a couple that people have said, hey, you guys should cook this. We did it. I even gave credit. So if you wanna see something, let us know in the comments below what you wanna see. Tomahawk steaks are always great to start with. Ribeye is my favorite steak. I don't know about you, that or picanha, but let me know too, what's your favorite steak? I wanna know everything. Tell me down below, okay? So this is DeFogo Life. I'm so happy that we did this because I got to share something with you that I really enjoy doing. It's a lot of fun. You'll have fun doing it too, okay? So get yourself a skewer, get yourself a steak, get out and grill, and I'll see you the next time on DeFogo Life.